I haven't looked in this tote since I packed it at the auction. So I'm going to take out some stuff and I'll just show it to you so you can see what we have. These look like these are Indiana Jones pants that have a wide hem on, the, on them. Um, let's see where they're from. There's a tag. I don't see a tag yet. Wait. These are from, Mag from Magnoli. Hmm. Um, so we're going to have to try those on. Ooh, there's something in the pockets we got here. <laughs> you never know what we might find. We have buttons. Ah. Extra buttons. Okay. Are you going to make an indie pile? I think probably you yes. You should. Yeah. So this, these are Indiana Jones pants from Magnoli. What do we have next? We have... These just look like... Are they jeans? These look like military surplus pants. 34 regular by 32... Those probably will not fit. Oh, they've got a thrift store tag on them. Huh. So those came from a thrift store. <clears throat> Maybe he got those for a costume or something. They're kind of worn. Are they like twill? Um, they're kind of like Docker's material, but uh -huh. it might they might be wool. Maybe. Uh -huh. I don't know. We'll have to check them. Those are probably not going to stick around. We'll see. Okay, we have... These look... I read about a post that he made about these... I think these are lightweight, like Indiana Jones style pants, but they are, they're super thin material. Mm -hmm. And he said that um, they're not the highest of quality, but they're super comfortable. Mm -hmm. and they're just kind of warm around the house. <laughs> so we'll have to try those on. He said he had a few pairs. So I wonder if they're all in here or not. Let's they look see. comfy. Um, here, this is heavy wool. Mm. I'll bet you these are... I'll bet you these are authentic. Yeah, this is this is authentic military su surplus. Hmm. And this is a military web belt. Right. Maybe wonder, for Colonel Hogan yeah, cosplay? Yeah, maybe they went with the Hogan's Heroes cosplay stuff. Um, we'll try those on and see if they fit. Wow, they're super heavy. Uh-huh. They must be real wool. Okay. Put those there. These are also wool. What do we have? Size 40, two pleats, standard. Um, I can't tell. Oh, uh, these are button fly. Hmm. Oh, these are button fly, like military. These may be Indiana Jones paints too. Hmm. Look at the. Uh they're very pleated. Yeah, pleats pleats in the front and these kind of button button pockets in the back. Um, they do have higher hems on them. We'll put that in the Indiana Jones pile. There wasn't a brand on it? I know. There's a huge label. Oh, wait. These are coils. Yes, these are Indiana Jones pants. Hmm. Yeah, that's the Indiana Jones um, clothing maker. Okay, we have, this says, Regulation Army Officers Trousers. Hmm. Mm. These also have button fly. Hmm. Um, oops. They do have um, button pockets in the back. These are flat in the front, no hmm. pleats. Um, hmm. I wonder if there's a size in them. But they're definitely... They're definitely old. Yeah, they smell old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is not Indiana Jones. Wait a minute. We'll put the indie, indie stuff up here. This was not indie stuff. Put that there. Okay, we have another pair of... Indiana Jones style looking pants. Okay, this says officers, army regulation trousers. <laughs> 34 by 36, or 36 by 36. Mm. We'll see if they've been tailored to fit. So, more surplus. Hmm. Officer pants. Those look old too. Yeah, they do. 
that shiny inner lining on the around the waistband mm -hmm. looks really mm -hmm. vintage, doesn't yeah, it? It does. Okay, this goes in the officer pants pile, and then we have. Oh, this is a shirt. These two shirts. Oh. U.S. Navy flying cross regulation XL, and then this one is an L flying hmm. cross. So we'll try those on too. I'm gonna guess that these are probably gonna go to the thrift store, or I or get sold. They're probably gonna be too big for me. We'll try them. Okay. So that's one of the pairs of pants. They're like old style pants with a huge a huge rise on them that come all the way up to your <laughs> your waist like old style pants used to. That's really weird to put on something that's that that's styled like that. It feels weird. It's like your whole belly is inside the pants. <laughs> the the pant legs are so wide. Yeah, but they're the right length when when the when they when you're pulled up to the right length, <laughs> they go to the right spot. I feel like an old like like those old person. movies where the guys have their pants pulled up to their nipples. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what they feel like with a belt on. Let me put a belt on and see. I don't know. They're probably authentic, but I just don't see myself keeping these. No. Even for a costume, I wouldn't. No. It's just too weird. Yeah. But somebody will like them. Does that just look weird? It looks heck? extremely weird. <laughs> Let me put on a jacket and see what it looks like with it. Go ahead and pause. Three. So this is a leather jacket that he had made um, for uh, doing um, Hogan's Heroes cosplay. So you can see it says Colonel Hogan on it. So if we put that on, oh, it's got the cuffs, the elastic move on. If we put these on, this on the pants, I probably ought to have the, have the right shirt on too. You need the cap. I do. I can get that cap. We can try that too. Now see that? Does yeah. It, that, that. Does it look authentic? It does. Except huh. for the shoes, but yes. Right. That interesting. That looks more of the era, you right. know. But you can't see you can't see this because it's covered up. What if I take what if I unzip? I don't know. We'd have to watch a Hogan's Heroes episode and it's, see how high his pants are and how wide. Up high. Yeah. Which, by the way, I did buy the complete set, the complete DVD set of all of the Hogan's Heroes episodes too that he was selling. Now we have something to do this so summer. Now we, now we have a reference we can look at. But. Well, I would say unless you're really committed to Colonel Hogan cosplay, <laughs> those pants need to go. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll try on some other ones. Two, three. Okay. Okay. So with these pants on in a in a army or I'm not sure you, you navy shirt, the shirt was a large. Oh, look at that! It's got a pin on it. What kind huh. of insignia is that? Is it? I have the famous. Is that the is that the Twin Towers? kind of looks like it yeah huh okay so the length of the sleeves is good the shoulders are correct they hit me on the points of my shoulders um, it's kind of baggy but it's not horrible I'm, normally a large shirt would be huge on me now these pants if they're where I normally wear my belt they like bag at the bottom and the crotch is like halfway to my knees <laughs> but if I pull them up so if the crotch is in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Does that look weird? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do I look like a 1950s guy? Uh, kind of. Or 40s? 40s. Or 30s? I mean, on it, 40s is my what 40s. I associate with those really high-waisted pants. Let me put that on. Oh, yeah. Do I look military -esque? Yeah. He, you look like Colonel Hogan. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Even with my hair short. Well, you know, you need the you need the cap and everything, but you know, I, I you definitely have a I could dig up a World War Two vibe for sure. <laughs> Hike up those pants. The pants like they slide down <laughs> as soon as you start walking, unless you like stick your gut out. 
<laughs> I guess that's why they wore suspenders. Oh, you know, well, not with military uniform, though. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Strange. Yeah. You just need to belt it in a little hot tighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my belly button is down here. <laughs> my that's, belt would normally be right here. That's, yeah. I, hmm. It's weird. Okay, well, I don't see myself holding on to these pants. Please don't. <laughs> these are army reg reg regulation army pants that are button fly again with the style where you got to pull it all the way up here but when you do then the length is correct mm -hmm. um, this shirt though is enormous this is an xl shirt um, and on me this thing is like it's huge so <laughs> take that much that much fabric so this is this has to go for sure um I might try these pants with the with the other shirt. All right, so here are those the zip fly or the button fly army trousers with the army shirt. What do you think of that? Right. The length of that fly. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's huge. I. And the the pockets are all the way at the top of your butt. I don't enjoy that look. That's very strange. <laughs> I think those come up even higher than the other the pair ones. did. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, those are going to go. Okay, here's another pair of wool trousers that also appear to be that high-rise style. But for some reason, these don't feel as bad as the other they ones. Look, they look better. They look better, really? Yeah, they do. The, Interesting. It's still that straight leg, but it somehow doesn't look as just baggy as i mean it's still baggy but it doesn't and it's still it just still comes up high but they don't feel like it may like be because they're the they're the darker it, it may yeah. be because they're darker they may just they're also look tighter, more streamlined so they're <laughs> yeah they're grabbing my gut harder yeah so they don't feel like they're gonna fall down yeah so that does look better the difference is those ones are just a little too loose for yeah. me they do it does look like they fit you a little better but they definitely i can I, I weighed 20 pounds less than they wouldn't fit as well. That's interesting. They feel just a tiny bit long. But that's probably not true because they should break just a tiny bit on the top well, of and you'd shoes. Have, yeah, and you'd have shoes on that would give you a little more height. I wonder if height. they did that. Well, yeah. it's the way that they sit on your foot. They should. This crease should break a little bit. Like, just... It is. It's breaking a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's actually interesting. Mm -hmm. I, if I had anything that I would wear this kind of this color with, mm -hmm. it might be interesting to hold on to these. You should put on your Colonel Hogan jacket because I okay. seem to remember him wearing dark pants. Oh, really? I think so. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> you want me to get the hat too? No, that's okay. That might be too much. I might not be able to contain myself. <laughs> Nice. There we go. That looks great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have to look at we'll have to look it up and see what color pants. Because I could I could wear these. Those I just couldn't wear. Those feel just too weird. Okay, these are the Magnoli Indie pants, um, and I'm wearing them with my own uh, Indiana Jones shirt from I think this is from uh, What Price Glory. Um, the length. I think is a tiny bit long. These these are button fly. They go up. They're too tight on me. They're um, too long. Yeah, they're too too tight and they're a little too long. Now some people there there's there are different ways of sizing indie pants, um, but these these are just a touch long. Usually you like them to be baggy, and I can put on boots to see if they fit. Mm, that's but still see how this is kind of poofy, mm -hmm. and this is super tight on my waist. It's just because I'm too big around the middle. Aren't we all? Yeah. So those will probably go, they'll go up for sale. Mm -hmm. Somebody else can take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the Coils uh, Indiana Jones pants. And these things, they go up higher. They're way baggier than the other ones. Oof. They've got the button fly. Um, the length on these is about right. The question is, is whether or not I would want to wear, wow, these are just like, they look uncomfortable. Enormous. 
They're very comfortable because they're super loose. I. But. I wouldn't find that comfortable. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> they're huge in the hips, huge in the seat. Was do, did Indy's pants fit like that in the uh, movies? They were loose, but I don't know if they were this loose. <laughs> I don't know about that. You get the whole Ark of the Covenant in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe maybe for somebody that was a little bit more heavy set. Yeah. Now, they could possibly... I could swim these down, down yeah. in the leg. Right. But in, the, in this area... Well, these are probably... If they were constructed properly, you can pull them in. You can take them in from the in the seat. Yeah, you've done that, haven't you? Um, I've never I've never tailored that kind that style. Mm. Um, but I don't know if that's what these are or not. I have to look and see. Oh, it feels like they are. So a tailor probably could take out a lot of this extra material mm -hmm. if they knew what they were doing, and I could do it just by goofing around and seeing if I got it right. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. I would say these ones I could hold on to, but the magnolies would definitely go. And then if I can't make these work or if they don't look right, then they're going to go too. Okay, these are the um, indie pants. Right, I think that he said they're from Costume Base on eBay. Hmm. Um, the the length looks right. Mm -hmm. um, they're super lightweight fabric. Very very comfortable. Oh, those are the ones you said. Ray said they were really comfy. Yes. Yeah, they are comfy. But on me, they still have that super long mm -hmm. uh, rise crotch on them. Yeah, on the on the rise. And uh, let's see if I <laughs> if I put them where my natural waist hits. Well, it, it's again the, the length is not horrible, but the, now Ugh. this comes this comes all the way down to my knees almost. I uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I think those are going to sell. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's only so far I'm willing to go. For screen accuracy. <laughs> and, okay, so, so just for a point of comparison, the pants I have on now are LL Bean wool trousers that have pleats in the front and uh, button flaps in the back, and that I have modified myself to be the right length and have the right kind of military hem to be indie pants. And they fit at my normal place where I would wear a belt and the length is right for indie, indie pants. Um, the crotch on them is a little low, but I'm still not gonna wear pants up all the way up to here, so they just, that's, that's how I would go around. Um, not with, with the, <laughs> the hem all the way up here. Mm -hmm. So, just, just to show. So these were, I think, modern military surplus pants. Uh, or military, yeah, just military uniform pants. Um, they look like that they came from a thrift store. They're worn. Um, I don't know why he had them, but I don't want them, so they're going in the, the donate bag. Yay! <laughs>